What's up, Long Strange Trippers? Jenna's here. Drew. Um, we just got back from our trip to Frisco Woods, which is a campground in Frisco, North Carolina on the Outer Banks. It is right between Buxton and Hatteras. So. A uh, friend of ours, Mike, had recommended this place to us. It's one of his favorites, one of his go-tos. Yeah, Mike, I don't know if you remember him, but he was in our Carolina Pines video, so we went with his recommendation yeah. on this one. We uh, booked it without really looking into it at all. Straight blind. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> anyone who started looking into it maybe a week before we went, the most recent review we could find on it was from 2012. So, yeah so we really had no idea yeah we were kind of like oh god what do we get ourselves into right. we just went in blind we always watch right. videos or reviews beforehand so we didn't do that with this one um so we really didn't have a lot of information except for what mike had told us um i was mostly worried about not having enough to do um i know there's not a ton of stuff down there yeah. um, in that area of the beach because it's not very commercialized um but that turned out to be one of the best things about it i think um, and actually, we found a lot to do. It yeah. turned out to be a really good trip. before we get into all the fun things that we did there let's talk about the sites because they were some of the more unique sites that we've been to yeah it was, uh, it was a really cool layout none of the, none of the sites were uniform sized at yeah. all um it had some it was out on the sound right on the, uh, the the shore pretty much right on the beach there was some it went on like a, a canal that went through the middle of the campsite. It was right on there. Yeah, and that canal went right to the sound too, so you could like get in the kayak yeah. on the mm -hmm. canal and go to the sound, which mm -hmm. was cool. Um, our site was right near the pool yeah. and the laundry room, yeah. which was good for us. It wasn't like it was kind of like it was our campsite, then it was the road, and then it was mm -hmm. the canal. So we had a good view of the canal, and again, like I said, we liked being close to the pool, and yeah. we were just like right off the water you yeah. know so it was nice the sites were big too yes really nice. very big um that was my favorite yeah. part about it i was so pleasantly surprised um at how much room we had and then our neighbor next to us theirs is actually even bigger than ours because they had this super cool tree that was giving them shade um and just kind of gave you the beach vibes you know it was those cool um i don't know what kind of beach trees those are yeah. called but um anyway nonetheless mm -hmm. they were super cool um we, did you already say we had a back end site? Yeah, we had the yeah, back end, so full hookup, regular 30 amp site. Yep. Um, and we actually got really lucky. We were in like a strip of like four campers. Um, two of them we knew, oh no, well, Mike we knew, he was next to us. And then we met two new ones on either sides mm -hmm. of us and some cool ones behind us. So we had yeah. great neighbors this time. I don't think you want to swim right here. Why? Because it'd be hard to get in and get out. 
This is just so you can um, oh, put your boat in the water. Too. What is there to do at Frisco Woods, North Carolina? Uh, see, our kids love pools, so that was where we stayed most of the time. Seriously, all yeah. you need is a nice pool for yeah. the kids, and they're happy. Yeah, it was never crowded any time, really, we were around there. It has a whole lot of seats, so we didn't have to deal with that. That's nice, yeah. because sometimes it is aggravating when you go to pools and you can't find yeah. anywhere to put your stuff. Or For me, I want to lay out right. while the kids swim, so yeah. they had lots of seating, yeah. which was nice. The decking was nice. It wasn't the wood. Yeah, it was that Trek stuff, yeah. you know, the, it looks like plastic, but mm -hmm. looks like wood. It was really nice. Um, yeah, so that was good. Um, they had a good playground. It wasn't huge, but honestly, it was just what it needed to be. It was a pirate ship, so the kids were stoked about that. It had some swings mm -hmm. off of it. That kind of seemed to be like the evening hangout for all the kids. They all migrated there. And it had a nice big open spot right near the field too, because I noticed a lot of kids were like playing tag and doing other stuff and riding their bikes right in front of it. So that was cool. Is that a concession stand? No, it's long. Oh. My name's Xander. My favorite part is the pool in the beach. Awesome, buddy. Good. About the campground is the pool. Cool. My name is Caitlin, and my favorite part about the campsite is the beach. Awesome. My, my name is Piper, and I like the beak and the pool. What? My what? name is Annie, and I love the pool. Why are my name is and I love the part about having just fun and the fires and roasting smokes. Awesome. My name is Cindy, and I like the pool. Awesome. So this campground is located right on the Pamlico Sound. It has a great private sound beach access. Um, a lot of the campers took advantage of that access. Um, the water is very shallow. It was warm, it felt good. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, they have paddleboard, uh, the paddleboard rentals, the kayak rentals, you can bring your own. You a lot of them. people brought their own, it yeah. looked like, honestly. Yeah. Um, um, I couldn't get Andrew to load ours mm -hmm. into the truck. <laughs> but our neighbor had one, they offered us, to, so that was great. Um, uh, I saw a lot of people windsurfing yep. out there, so that was cool. Um, lounging in rafts. And, oh, my favorite part about the sound, which I made Andrew go down there with me uh, both nights, was for the sunset. Um, and actually a lot of people went down there for a sunset mm -hmm. view. Um, a lot of people took the kayaks out yeah. to watch the sunset, which was really cool. But yeah, it's just, a pretty big thing. Yeah. Most uh, people were yeah. for them, actually. Uh-huh. It, it was beautiful. It really is just, you know, beautiful views. Plenty of fishing space on the the sound side, away from swimming. There's uh, fishing on the canal itself. Yeah. So. Good job. What do y'all think it is? Oh, <laughs> big boy. <laughs> oh, big. <laughs> we got 
got a whale, guys. <laughs> Whoa, can I see? Oh, can I see that fish up close? Hmm. It's, um, numerous trucks loaded up headed to the ocean to the shore fish. Um, I think a lot of people actually go down there to fish, especially yeah. on the beach. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what the area is known for. Sure. for. Um, so a quarter mile down the road from the campground, there's a spot you can drive your car or truck or whatever onto the beach. So if you do have plans to drive on the beach, I do suggest going to the Hatteras ORV website. That way you can go ahead and get your pass to drive on the beach so you're not riding dirty. <laughs> and uh, a mile down the road from the campground is there's a public beach access and it has showers and bathrooms and all yep, that so, usual stuff. Yep, mm -hmm. That's not too far to spend the day down there yeah. or shore fish or whatever right. it is you want to do. Friday night when we got there, we actually ventured out um, and we went to a restaurant called Diamond Shoals, which again, our friend Mike had suggested. Um, we had seafood, it was really good, good atmosphere. Um, we also, our friends Donna and Casey suggested to go to Fatty's for ice cream. That's supposed to be one of the best places mm -hmm. down there. On um, Saturday, we went out again. This time we went down to the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse for a couple hours. It was really cool, actually. Yeah. Um, I'd actually never seen a lighthouse, and I've lived 45 minutes right. from the Outer mm -hmm. Banks my whole life. So mm -hmm. that was a nice bucket mm -hmm. list check off mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. me. It was cool to see. Um, and after that, we went and got fudge, which is another one of my favorite things to do, to get something sweet. <laughs> yeah. um, it was really good. That cool fudge, place. yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. um, they make it there. Riding to and from, we saw uh, was that a racetrack for go karts mm -hmm. at a putt putt. And that was right down the road right. from the yeah, campsite. And about 20 minutes down in Avon, there was all kinds of an adventure, like arcade sort of place. Yeah, like they had a bunch of like cool stuff in mm -hmm. that. Um, it's really isn't that far. No, nah, it won't be. Um, also, um, at the campground, they do have a good camp store. Our friends that we mentioned a minute ago, Donna and Casey, they bought a cool little like fire pit that yeah. keeps your fire off the ground because they do have strict regulations on the beach about burning a fire. I don't think you can burn a fire mm -hmm. at all on the ground because mm -hmm. it's too risky. Mm -hmm. um, so they didn't get that from there. Our kids got some ice cream from there before we left on Sunday. Um, some stuff for the pool they yeah. had, some floats you could buy. Um, oh, and the guy that worked there, he was yeah. super nice. Yeah, that's cool guy. Um, he had a beard, so naturally we were like, right on, brother. But um, he was just real helpful and really nice. Good, positive vibes coming from him. I do want to add they didn't have any golf cart rental. Um, you could obviously bring your own. And I did see some people that had rented from an outside company. And I got a picture of that for y'all, so I'll post that as well. Um, uh, go ahead, babe. Uh, so the, the price of the sites in this place was pretty cheap compared to most places we end up going yeah especially at the beach yeah. too you know everything's yeah. inflated at the beach right. so it's one of if not the cheapest place we've stayed since we've been going yeah. out and like i said it was one of the larger sites yeah. that we've had is the irony in it right. and we like i said we really just had 
a wonderful time. Yeah. Maybe it's the beach air because everybody knows that salt air is therapeutic. Um, but we, <laughs> that, maybe I just say that, I don't know. <laughs> but really, we really did have a good time. We got a shout out our neighbors that we had this time. We had some really great people that we made friends with. Our kids made friends with their kids. Uh, we had Donna and Casey and their kids. We had Allie and Drew and their son. And then across from us, we had Jason who was tent camping, which was super cool. Um, uh, also, you've heard us saying before, Mike and his daughters were there. Um, we also had one of Mike's friends, John and Laura. And their kids were also over there. Yeah, so we had really just like a whole like block of right. super cool people mm -hmm. and that really makes the experience, yeah. I think. So, and it's great because the kids have each other um, and we all know as parents, it's kind of a load off when they can um, occupy each other and then we can sit back and chill and enjoy it. So um, again, highly recommend visiting Frisco Hi Woods. Hi, I'm Allie. I'm Drew. We're from Virginia Beach. Um, my favorite part about the campground is the sunset. It's going to have to be our neighbors. Awesome. We love having y'all's neighbors too. Awesome. It's been fun. It's been a great time. Awesome. Casey Ogletree, Sanford, North Carolina. My favorite part fishing with all these youngins out here. So. Thank you. Say hey, bud. Uh -huh. Hey, my name is Jason. My favorite part is uh, the people. And everybody just kind of does everything. Cool. Where are you from, Jason? I'm from Chesapeake. Awesome. Okay. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Um, please subscribe, help us out, like it, and share it. And, um, yeah, thanks so thanks. much for watching. So, seriously, guys, we do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Uh, we enjoy sharing it with everybody. Yep. See you on the next trip. Peace. Peace.